right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Sort of a rainy, cloudy, drizzly day here in San Diego. I'm just enjoying it so much. Thank you so much for joining me again here on Mod Monday. The mod we're going to be talking about this week. Got this little guy right here. Did a first impressions a while back in a vlog. But today we're going to be tackling the Asmodus Bullseye Dual Parallel Unregulated box mod in order to get to know it just a little bit better we're gonna go up close as we always do dude quick short up be closey time i don't know why i threw that dude in there that was just bizarre quick short up be closey time <clears throat> all right yeehaw what we have here is the bull's eye dual parallel unregulated 18650 box mod from as modus and like i said it's a box mod it's shaped boxy shaped it's a little bit contoured here a little bit contoured here just to make it a little bit more comfortable in your hand you can kind of see it flares out just a little bit at the bottom when you set it down nice and sturdy spring-loaded copper 510 connection there the only thing i'm not a huge fan of is this little switch right here now i don't know if this is a full mechanical switch i don't believe it to be a full mechanical switch but what is happening on the inside there's no MOSFET in here, and I don't know how long this switch will last. So a MOSFET protects your switch against the amp load of the batteries. And in a dual parallel box, you're going to be running pretty low ohms. I generally run right around a 0 .11, 0 .10 atomizer on here, and so that's a pretty high amp limit, and there's nothing in there to protect your switch, so... Eh, no MOSFET, I don't know. But really, what this mod is all about is conductivity. You can see kind of running up the spine right here. Now these are silver plated copper threads that are braided into kind of like a thick braid of conductivity. So you have copper here on the bottom, you have spring loaded connections right there, and that's gonna carry right up this braid, right up to the top where it's wired to your switch and wired to your 510 connection. Like I said, these are spring loaded on the bottom there. So when you pop your batteries in, you're going to put them both positive side up because this is a parallel box and not a series box, both positive side up. There's no ribbon to be able to pop your batteries in and out, but they do come out just like that fairly, fairly easily. Small piece of plastic here covering the internals, so I don't know, you don't accidentally yank a cord out. The door's held on magnetically, and it stays on pretty nice, and there's no rattling or bumping around of anything. The fit and finish on it is really nice. There's no play in the door up, down, side to side. You have to give it a little just like that to get your door off. Now, this is called the bullseye, which I guess is a reference to Toy Story. So what they did, which is weird, and I'm not sure it's gonna show up, is they engraved Andy on the door for Toy Story. Uh, sure. I don't know, that's kind of dumb, but it's a thing they did. Also faintly, faintly engraved around the body of it is the Asmodus logo, but you can literally, I mean, Look at it right there. You can barely, barely see it right there, but it fits comfortable in the hand. It's nice and weighty. It's got plenty of power. So what I'm gonna do is plug a 510 atomizer on here. We're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this guy. This freaking bullseye is a hard hitter. This is a hard hitter. I've been using this same atomizer. It's a .10 uh, dual something alien or other, I don't know, Squid Dude built it for me, and it's a hot, hot vape, and I've been using it on the Titan, and I thought, wow, this is hitting great. This is a great RDA build for this parallel box. I threw it on the bullseye, and it's somehow hitting harder. That conductive braid thing they have going up the back, it might not be nonsense, man. This thing is hitting really hard. The only thing that concerns me about this device it's the lack of a MOSFET in for the switch. I can kind of tell, not 100% sure, and I could be wrong about this. I don't believe this is a fully mechanical switch. It is wired. Granted, it's thick wire, but I don't know how long this switch is gonna last. It's lasted me two months with fairly regular use so far, but 
I'm going to just keep using it and keep using it. And the day that it breaks, I'm just going to have to report back and, and see how long the switch lasted. Overall, it feels really nice in the hand. It's comfortable to hold. I'm not a huge fan of this button. It's very, very non-clicky and I like clicky buttons, but the performance, man, it cannot be beat. It's just hitting so hard right now. Unbelievable. Wow. Hitting really unbelievably hard. Now, are you going to need your vape budget hands for this? That's the question, right? Vape budget, vape, vape budget hands? Yeah, you're going to need your vape budget hands for this. Asmodus Bullseye Dual 18650 Parallel Box Mod, 129 bucks. Ah, 129 bucks. That seems on the high-ish end. Um, when you think about the fact that there's mods out there, that are four hundred plus dollars, five hundred plus dollars. Then suddenly one twenty nine doesn't seem so bad, but it's still yeah, it's still on the highish end. Now let's play the aliens game. If aliens came down and took all of my vape gear, everything I own, is the bullseye something that I would seek out and buy? Eh, probably not. If they had a better switch in here and a MOSFET just for my own well-being, if they had like a MyTech and a MOSFET on this box, it would kind of be unstoppable. One thing that I've noticed now that it never did before, but it's suddenly doing, rattling around. The batteries in there, they're not held in very strong. You know what I mean? The springs on the bottom are there and they just go in there and they're just in there. And when you kind of batteries kind of rattling around all over the place and I never really noticed it before but for some reason as I'm shooting this video it's like it's rattling around all over the place so no the as modus bullseye isn't something I would seek out and buy but it is a really hard hitting parallel box mod I think it's cool, but I just, you know, whatever. I don't want to ramble. I don't think I would buy one uh, for the reasons that I have mentioned already in this video. But I'm going to wrap this up right now. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll have a link down in the description to where you can check it out if you are interested. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.